We will cover quite a few things in this video, so sit back and relax. We will start with an overview of the robotic inspection planning problem and what is challenging about comparing inspection paths. Next, we will have to explain how a near-optimal automated inspection planning algorithm works. We will end with explaining our method to compare inspection paths. The goal of robotic inspection planning is to find an efficient robot path that allows an attachment measurement device to perform high-quality measurements. The measurement quality is shown as the varying colors on the object. Note that for some tasks, a very short path with a lesser inspection quality can be sufficient. A longer path with better inspection quality can also be valid. Simply comparing the inspection quality without taking the path efficiency into account is not fair in the case of short paths. So how can we deal with this in a fair way? Our method of comparing inspection paths depends on a near-optimal inspection planning method, which consists of three steps. A discretization step, an optimization step, and a post-processing step. The discretization starts with the object that needs to be inspected, which is represented as a set of points. After this, the robot's workspace is discretized. To do this, we first inflate the convex hull of the object. Then we select points from a regular grid, which do not collide with the object. One point in this grid represents one robot position. We finally represent all robot motions as edges connecting these points. The near-optimal algorithm now searches for a subset of all the possible viewpoints. The goal is to select a subset of points that together maximizes the inspection quality. The algorithm, however, is constrained because the cost of the robot motions must be less than a given budget parameter. So how does this help us in comparing inspection paths? First, a user programs an inspection path. This path is added to the discretization. The points of the path are added and connected to the other points. Next, the algorithm searches for an inspection path with a budget constraint on the budget of the user's path. Finally, the inspection quality of the user's inspection path is divided by the inspection quality of the automatically generated path. The inspection quality is then normalized towards the optimal solution with the same travel budget because the automated algorithm is near optimal. 